Hi, this is Val, and I'm in my studio here, Valtopia, in Ven near Venice Beach, California. And today it's raining, but I'm here today to speak with you about my uh, philosophy and what I'm teaching and sharing and living and experiencing through my artwork, through the experiences that I provide, and through uh, anything that I'm sharing with the community, with my family, uh, as an expression of my purpose of living and being. So for me, uh, what's becoming very clear as my topic of, or my gift of service, is uh, teaching awareness. I know for myself, uh, when I came into this experience of creating my own company and really pursuing my dreams of of selling my artwork and my presence as a, as an artist and an energy guide, uh, I had a journey of awareness to come into, and I'm still coming into it. Uh, it's it's an, an an infinite journey because we are infinitely expanding and we are infinite beings, and um, our life experiences are our lessons we learn and move into and out of and grow into and expand. And uh, so, awareness can be in many levels. You can be aware of your body and the physical reality of your body. You can be aware of your uh, your spirit inside, the energy that, that drives you, your passion, your vitality, the, the stuff that makes you get up out of bed and keep going despite getting kicked down, you know? Um, and we can be aware of our mind and the role that it plays in us being able to be aware and in tune with both our body and our spirit. Now, those of us who may be living a life um, that is, and I have, and uh, I'm coming closer, um, that is discordant with what it truly means for us to be ourselves, uh, I find that the more aware we are, uh, the more we are learning to be ourselves and be in tune with ourselves. And that great, creates great strength and empowerment for us. And in doing so, we, when we lift ourselves up and really be ourselves and step into ourselves, we're able to be that much more strengthened and cap capacious for those around us. But often the reality of what we desire and what truly would serve us individually it can be far removed from the reality that we actually are in at the present time. And sometimes the gap between the reality that we live in and the one that we know deep in our heart that would suit us and allow us to truly be ourselves in strength and love and purpose, um, it's, the gap is so great that we may get inspired, we may take steps towards the flow of that, but then we may get very triggered by the very gap and sometimes um, we may be doing a lot of things that are launching us in the direction of our desires uh, and bringing them about and sometimes they are just outside of our realm of experience and we are struggling to match up with them because uh, we're lost in those triggers and what those triggers do to us they're like switches that uh, either shut us down or uh, hold us back or make us get stuck um, in anger or fear or uh, grief or loss or confusion. And when we feel like we're flowing towards ourself and our inner being and our own awareness deeply, we feel clear, we feel confident, we feel compassionate, we feel consistent, we are consistent. And that creates the, the inspired action that then keeps us moving into the new reality that we've been called to. And then that, of course, keeps shifting because we keep growing and expanding just like the universe. We're all a collection of living cells that are constantly evolving and moving and dying and becoming a new collection of cells. And even our mind, it can be completely much parts of our brain. A lot of them, some of them stay with us our whole life and others can be completely regenerated. And it's coming out in science and in many communities that the faith that we have, the belief that we have of what we can do is what guides our awareness and our, our truth and uh, lets us be ourselves and thrive and have a great life. 
So this is what I want to share with you. And I have a, a toolkit, a creative toolkit, because being creative opens up all sides of the brain. Being creative opens you up to uh, a, a place where your subconscious mind can shift out of old patterns, old triggers, and old stuck places that keep you uh, from becoming yourself and becoming aware. Uh, so my job as a being, and it always has been, and uh, I think I found it frustrating as a kid and a young woman, is to trigger you into awareness. 